Congressman Frank Shale, phone 91. Take this with you. Thank you. Frank? Frank? Hello. You did a good job on that immigration for us. Well, thank you, Mr. President. I'm mighty, mighty proud of you. Can you help us on 14B? Well, uh, I, I just don't know just yet, Mr. President. I haven't had much chance to give it any thought. I was so busy on this other thing, you know. Yeah, well, you did but, a good job on it. Well, thank you kindly, and I really do appreciate it. I've got a very, very difficult situation on this one. Uh, of course, it's uh, like some of the others, but this one, of course, I have now northern Kentucky where it's strong labor. It's been added on, you know, Mr. Spencer's district to mine, and uh, uh, heretofore I've had a strictly rural agricultural section, and uh, the two have been, of course, joined together, and almost any way I go, I'm going to get hurt pretty badly, and I'm trying my best to figure out uh, just what in the world is the best uh, that I should do. I, I, I'm wanting to level with you and tell you the truth about it. It's given me no end of trouble. Uh, I, uh, I'm very much worried about the thing, and uh, I, I haven't made any commitments, that's for sure. I have very carefully refrained from making any because, as I say, I was just so daggone busy morning, noon, and afternoon on the immigration that I just, I was just trying to cross a bridge uh, at a time, you know. Well, you've got your own problems, and I'm sympathetic with them, and I've had them too. I had an agriculture district and real tough problems, and I, I voted for Taft Hartley, and I voted to override the president, my own president's veto on it. I did too, uh, by golly, I did that. I, did I surely that. did. But, uh, I'm not proud uh, of it, but I well, did it. Well, uh, I did it. Mr. Rayburn wanted to do the same thing, but he came down and talked to the president. The president told him he was going to veto it, and he was leader, and he said, well, it better not. Mm -hmm. uh, since he was leader, but after the years went on, it's cut down now to where there are only 19 states that have these laws, and they're fighting them out. Oklahoma's had three big battles on it in Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama and uh, Texas. And, uh, most of every company, every good big company, has already got the union agreements. General Electric, General Motors, Ford, everybody that produces anything, Westinghouse, RCA, everybody has got the union agreements. And I think over the long pull, you're going to be here a long, long time, that the masses and the working man, uh, they never forget it. It's something that they that means everything to them, kind of like old Albert Thomas. He's, he's on everything that directly affected labor. He's always voted with them, and everything that, uh, like foreign aid or anything else, well, he just voted as he damn pleased the other way. He's pretty conservative. But this is one that they... They count, and it, it means a lot to them, and it's not going to hurt you whether Arkansas, or Mississippi, or Alabama, or some of these states that are trying to steal some of these plants and get labor a little cheaper. It's not going to hurt you much uh, uh, what they do, but over the long run, labor will be helpful to you, and the president will, and the administration will. And if you don't have any other way, just say the Republicans were really moving in trying to trying to wreck us and that you thought you'd just take a chance to stop this fighting because labor and business do fight it out. Oklahoma's had three elections. I was down there and they just at each other's throat and both of them spending money and they got everybody mad at each other. Now, I think I've got the best relations we've ever had between business and labor now. They're well, all making money. That. They're all doing well. You've done a magnificent I see no job. reason why we ought to have a great big fight. And, I know that, personally, that George Meany and the boys that really count are going to be here a long time. I know that uh, if you can, uh, they would always appreciate it, and I would appreciate it. If you can't, it won't hurt you one bit with me. I love you just like I always have, and like I do Kentucky, and I know you'll do what you think's best for you. But if you can, and I can tell them that you're going to give them a vote if they have to have it, if it's required, if it means it. Now, it's not that close. They're going to carry it. My judgment, we'll get about 220 uh, votes, 215 to 225. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think you have to have it. Mr. But President, if you could, I would say that to them, because then I think they don't think you're a labor baiter and, that's and right. so on and so forth. That's and right. If you can't, well, whatever you do Mr. is all right with me, and you never hear a drive from me. Well, and that's mighty sweet of you, and I really do appreciate it because I feel for the first time, Mr. President, that I've been welcome 
at the White House for the well, first he time. Sure as hell are. Left. He was like a daddy to me, well, and he used to let me come in whenever I wanted to and talk to him. And of course, I'd always sneak in the back door, and, and I'd never go out the front door and uh, say the president said this and I said that and all that stuff. You know what I mean? I, I was very discreet about uh, matters of uh, the kind that we talked over. But, and, but you know, uh, I, I have the same feeling and the warmth uh, for you. Uh, Mr. President, that, that I had for Mr. Trump. You're the only he's human like being. You're the only human being I've called on this bill. I don't want you to say a word about it, but you're the only one of 531, and I sent it up there. Uh, I don't want to get beat on it. If they start beating you, then they'll beat you on everything else. That's but right. I, I don't think I'm going to. But uh, George Manning talked to me and said, I like Frank Chef, and I, I wished you'd say a word to him and tell him that I'll remember it, and you'll remember it. If he can help us, all right. If he can't, all right. And you just do the best you can. If you can, well, let me tell them that you... All right. If they got to have you vote, that Mr. you'll... Uh, you'll I certainly say this, that I love you, I respect you. You're not only my president, but you're my friend. And if they need me, they've got me. God bless you. Thank if you If they need me, they've got me. I'll pass up the first roll well, call. And if you need me, I'll be there four square. By God, loud. I'll, 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 make the, I'll make the damn roof and the rafters, by God, reverberate. I'll make these glass wings on this bird up here flap. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. God bless you. Waiting.